Hey other guys, it's Delta49er here with a tutorial on how to install the GLSL shaders mod for Minecraft 1.6.2. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that Minecraft is closed, and then go into your web browser and go to the files.minecraftforge.net page, which is linked in the description. And you want to find the recommended 1.6.2 slot here and click the installer download. It'll bring you to an ad flight page, which you do not want to click anything but the skip ad button that shows up in the top right. And then you want to save the file on your desktop. And then you want to go to the GLSL shaders mod forum thread, which is linked in the description, and find the for Minecraft 1.6.2 part, and then right click that link and open it in a new tab, and then change to that tab and uh, find the download links here and I'm just going to use Mediafire, it doesn't really matter unless one is down of course and then you want to wait for the skip ad button to show up again and click skip ad and then click download and save that on your desktop as well now you want to go back to the first tab and under shaders packs you want to download the shaders pack that you would like uh, so for this tutorial I'm just going to download the bump shadow waving 0.9.6 but of course there's all these down here uh, so I'm just going to click the download link you may have to search the form thread because there's uh, form thread links for most of them uh, so you may have to search that form thread for the download link but it shouldn't be too difficult and you want to just save that folder on the desktop as well and from my knowledge, they are all zip folders, so it shouldn't work too different for any of the other ones. Now you have the three files on your desktop, and one should be the Forge installer, the other should be the Shaders Mod Jar, and your Shaders Pack of choice. And you want to double click the Forge installer, it should bring up a window like this. Click Install Client, and click OK. And it should say you successfully installed Forge, click OK again. If you did not have the option to double click it, if it opened it in something like WinRAR, you would want to right click it and click open with Java Platform SE Binary. Now what you want to do is you want to go into your Minecraft launcher and it may ask you to authenticate your account, just click play. And then you want to select the Forge profile and click play. It may take a second because it does need to download some files for Forge. And once it gets to the menu screen, you should have uh, some Minecraft Forge information here. And you just want to quit game. Then you want to go on your keyboard and press the Windows key and R. The Windows key is the flag key. And you want to type in percent app data percent. And then click OK. And go into your dot Minecraft folder, then your mods folder, and drag that off to the side and drag in your shaders mod core jar and then uh, you just want to minimize that for now next you want to go into your minecraft launcher and then make sure the forge profile is selected and click play and then you should have four mods loaded and click mods and just make sure the glsl shaders mod is listed and then you can quit game now what you want to do is you want to single click and then right click your zip folder for your shaders pack and then click extract all and then click extract and if the folder does come up you can just close that and then bring up the mods folder you had open before and go back to your dot minecraft folder then your shaders pack folder and just drag the shaders pack that you just extracted into there and then you can close that now you want to go into your minecraft launcher one more time and just make sure it works and let's see we'll go into just a random single player world and then uh, it may not be selected so just go to your options and go to shaders and just make sure that it's selected there we go and then uh, you can see that you have shaders now of course you may have a different shaders pack that has more effects and everything uh, but if it's not working it doesn't look like all the features are working of the shaders pack you may need to restart minecraft once uh, but otherwise 
That is about it for this tutorial. If you did find this helpful, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated. If you have any problems, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you out. And also, if you're new to the channel and you do enjoy daily gaming tutorials,